What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. If you're new to the channel then hi my name is Nasser and I'm now a fourth year medical student studying at King's College London. In a couple days from now I'm going to be starting my new clinical placement in emergency medicine and critical care at a big and busy London hospital. But in order to do that I need to come to campus and get two negative Covid tests three days apart. Just like that, we're done. Hopefully that comes back negative and then I'll be good to go back to placement. Oh yeah, and I need to clean shave. All done. Now I've got everything that I need. So tomorrow is my first day in emergency medicine. I'm gonna be starting off in the resuscitation area of the emergency department. So this is where the most critically ill patients go, the ones who need immediate life-saving treatment, which is honestly kind of scary. And so before I go in tomorrow, I want to review and read my notes on sort of some of the most common presentations that might be coming into resus. So that tomorrow I have a decent idea of what is going on and I'm not walking around like a fish out of the water. So I'm gonna pull out my iPad and start doing that. All right, that's about all the preparation I can do. I'll see you guys tomorrow. morning heading to placement it's actually pretty cold it snowed quite heavily last night but anyways the sun is shining so I can't complain I need to go pick up some scrubs put all of my extra clothes and baggage into a locker and then head to A&E <laughs> and we've just stopped to have some lunch. The morning was very, very interesting. Saw so many different patient presentations that I wasn't expecting to see. So really, really good day. Not, not a single dull moment. Anyways, I'm gonna munch this very quickly and then go back to a &E. All right, just finished. It is 6 p.m. That was an absolute madness. That was honestly amazing. Fascinating stuff. I feel like I saw so much. I learned so much. Everyone was so nice. I'll tell you guys about it when I get home. I feel very fulfilled, very happy. It was such an exciting place, but not a single dull moment. It's not great leaving the hospital when it's dark, but this view kind of makes up for it. Anyways, it's definitely time for me to get home. So I'll see you guys there. So remember all of those presentations that I told you I was gonna read up on and prepare for in case they showed up today in recess? Guess how many of those showed up? Take a wild guess, zero. But I did see a whole bunch of other very, very interesting things. This was my first time ever listening to a patient's chest that had COVID, seeing a COVID chest x-ray, and yeah, it was it's pretty wild. You would hear widespread crackles like throughout the entire chest. have a look at their x-ray you just see white. We had patients come in with head injuries, we also had patients with strokes and query strokes. I managed to do a couple of clinical skills as well. I did a full respiratory exam on a COVID positive patient. I attempted an ABG for the first time ever today, an arterial blood gas, usually done over here from the radial artery in the wrist. I witnessed the placement of an arterial line and a central line and oh my god the placement of a central line is 
infinitely more complicated than I had imagined. Thanks for listening to my long ramble about my first day in recess in the emergency department. It was honestly so good, so, so good. All right, we are approaching 7.30 and I'm pretty hungry. My sister is pretty hungry. So I think we're just gonna go into the kitchen, cook up some dinner, eat that and relax a little bit while watching something on the TV. And then I'll reassess what I'm gonna do with my night. Good morning guys, Brian Early heading back to the hospital today, but not for clinical placement. I'm not gonna be on a ward, seeing patients, doing anything like that. We're actually going in for a clinical skills day and I think we're doing a suturing, su suturing? suturing workshop today. will do. So yeah, that was actually quite fun. I don't think we've gotten enough practice for suturing in my time in medical school. So the more sessions like this that we have, the better we become at it, the more confident we become, the more likely we are to actually be able to do it on a real patient in a &E, where I am over the next seven or eight weeks. The rest of the day today, we don't actually have anything uh, planned besides one lecture at 2 p.m. So I'm gonna head home in time to attend that on Microsoft Teams. I'm probably gonna go for a run as well. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Gonna start heading home, I'm really hungry. I need to cook some lunch and get on my way. made myself a lovely lovely coffee last night i stayed up a little bit later than i should have and put all of the custom keycaps onto this keyboard i think it looks really really good i'm quite happy with it let me know what you guys think in a comment down below so i'm gonna open up the teams meeting on the left half of my screen make sure my mic is off make sure my video is off join All right, so remember when I said I was gonna go for a run before it got dark? Well, it's gone in dark. I'm gonna do my classic 10K around Regent's Park. I've got my Apple Watch to keep track of my pace and my distance and remind me of how far along I am in my run. <laughs> I actually forgot to check the weather before I left the house and it's raining, which is great. All right, it's enough blabber from me. This is kilometer zero. One kilometer down, two kilometers, three down, four down. Oh man, I'm so five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was quite tiring Ugh. and I'm soaking wet. Did not think it was raining that much. I thought it was a light drizzle. Ugh. Anyways, I'm gonna give my phone a wash, jump in the shower and immediately cook dinner. reaching the end of the night now. I've been sat here just clickety clacking away on my keyboard. I've been preparing for the research project that I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna tell you all about it while I'm on the train commuting to the hospital. 
So I'm on my way to a different hospital than I usually go to for clinical placement. This hospital is where I'm doing my research project in my fourth year. As part of this, we've got two main things that we have to do. One is patient shadowing, and the second one is to carry out an audit. So patient shadowing involves following a patient from the time that they enter the hospital through all the different departments and procedures that they go through until the time that they leave. And you try and identify areas of the patient's experience that can be improved. The second thing is that we're doing an audit on oxygen prescribing. So this involves taking a baseline level of data for how much people are prescribing oxygen, how they are prescribing oxygen, where they are doing it, and then we want to perform some sort of intervention, something that will hopefully improve those numbers or increase the amount that people are prescribing oxygen. After that, we collect a second amount of data and we look to see what changes have occurred. And you repeat that a couple of times with different interventions. Now, from a practical point of view, what this involves is sitting down at a computer and collecting loads and loads of data over many hours, and that's what I have to go do right now. Leave me a comment down below if you remember the previous vlog when I filmed in this library. So generally how we do it is we have one person over here on the computer screen with the keyboard and the mouse going through and looking at all the data. And then we have another person on the computer and putting the data over here so we have a record of it. And then later on we analyze the data, come up with some numbers, statistics, percentages, etc. and do a full on report. So that's what I'm going to be here doing for quite a few hours. Hope you guys enjoy the time lapse and I will see you at lunch. Peace. with the data collection. I'm really happy that's finished because I really wasn't looking forward to it and I just wanted to bang it out. So now we've just gone to get some lunch. We're gonna have a quick lunch break. One in my classic toasted hummus and red pepper wrap, which is amazing. We're gonna sit down and munch that and then do the patient shadowing, which honestly should be quite simple, quite fun. I don't think it's gonna be difficult or anything like that. And then after that, I can go home. This is one of the best things that I've found about medical school is that it's so incredibly varied. No, almost no two days are the same. You're either in a tutorial or a lecture or in the clinical skills lab or in the hospital on the wards or doing a research project or whatever. There's just so many different things that you need to do. Since we're going into a clinical area now, we obviously need to be changed into scrubs and out of our civilian clothes. Last big thing to do today, gonna head to the wards, speak to a couple patients about their experiences of being in hospital and being on oxygen. Almost there. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm all done with the clinical activities for today. I honestly had probably one of the better patient interactions that I've had in a very long time. Sometimes you talk to patients and you have a completely neutral interaction. Sometimes you have a less than favorable interaction for one reason or another. And then other times you just click immediately, you build rapport really fast. And yeah, I just, we had such a good chat. I asked all the questions that I needed, got very thorough, detailed responses. So I think that was a really good chat for writing up this project in the very near future. Deadline is gonna creep up on me real fast. I'm gonna head home and I think just chill for a little bit. I feel like it's been a very productive day. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, drink some coffee, relax, cook some food, and then yeah, get back to the prep that I need to do for tomorrow's patient encounters. These are practice exercises that we get organized with our university. So I'll be connected with a patient and asked to take a gynecological history tomorrow and also to read and interpret MRIs or CTs, I think, and explain the results to the patient. So I need to prepare for those for tomorrow. I'm a little bit more nervous than usual, that's why. Anyways, I've made it home. I've got my coffee and two snacks. One healthy, which are these mandarins over here, which are amazing. And then the second one is unhealthy, which is half a bag of Lay's salted crisps. Crisps? 
Oh my god, chips, chips, not crisps. I'm not assimilating into British slang. Chips, chips, chips. I had a long catch up with my mum, which was really nice. Haven't talked to her in quite a few days. I think almost a week now. Had a catch up with my sister as well. She is two rooms that way, working very, very hard as a busy, busy lawyer. She's just sitting at her keyboard going. And then now I've been catching up with Alexia. I'll catch you guys in a bit. I'm working on a super secret project, which I can't share with you just yet, but I'm very, very, very excited about it. Maybe by the time this vlog goes out, it'll already be announced. And if it is, you'll find it up over here. And if it's not, follow me on Instagram, stay tuned, and I'll be announcing it very soon. I think I'm going to work on editing my first video for coming back after my long break that I've taken now in January. I think it might be interesting for you guys to see the behind the scenes editing that goes on. Hope you enjoy. dinner I feel like I'm about to enter a food coma I feel like it's been a pretty hectic first three days this week I feel like I've done a lot run around quite a bit and I could use a night off and then tomorrow we'll have our usual day of lectures preparing for the patient educator sessions etc etc so that's it for me I'll see you guys on Thursday night all right Good morning guys. So today is Thursday and for this week, while I'm on the recess week, what we have is called self-directed learning. What this usually means is that it's more of a chill day instead of going to the hospital and seeing patients and being on your feet from nine to five, you get to stay at home or go to the library and do a lot more studying sat down at a desk. I'd also like to take advantage of this time to do things like laundry. <laughs> back in my room. On Black Friday, my sister and I, we got one of these cordless hoovers. Genuinely elevates your life by like this much. do my back and neck exercises. I feel like I've been sitting down quite a lot this week when I've been at my desk, so I'm gonna switch it from the sitting to standing position. Hopefully soon I'll be able to upgrade this to an automatic desk so I can just push a button and it'll go up to the standing position. All right, now as much as I just wanna start working, I'm gonna move this on the way. Let's throw on some good music and get started. Feeling, all right, we're getting off to a pretty late start to the day, but it's fine, I've got everything under control and I know what I'm doing. But before we start, I need one thing. I'll give you guys three seconds to guess in a comment down below while I go get it. Yep, you guessed it, coffee. All right, I think I've had plenty of fun today. Time to actually buckle down and get straight to work. I'm gonna work on this up until around lunch, so maybe 1 p.m. or so, wish me luck. So I'm just taking some notes on um, taking a gynecological history. Obviously when you're taking a history like this from a woman, there's gonna be a lot of questions that you're asking that are fairly sensitive in nature that the person might be embarrassed to talk about. And even though I personally don't feel embarrassed asking these types of questions, such as do you have bleeding after sex? Do you have bleeding in between your menstrual periods? Do you have any pain around the vaginal area? Any skin changes, etc.? I don't feel nervous asking these questions to patients, but it's all about asking them in such a way where the patient feels comfortable receiving the questions and then is hopefully 
in an environment and has built enough rapport with you that they feel comfortable opening up properly about those topics. So that's what I want to practice saying out loud now to my computer, practice how to answer these questions in a sensitive way, in a way that makes the patient feel comfortable enough to answer them truthfully and openly with me. I can't believe I forgot to show this to you guys. I picked it up quite some time ago now. It's been absolutely life-changing, especially after runs. You turn it on and there's like a bunch of levels of strength. So yeah, when I'm sitting at my desk for a long time and I feel like my muscles are tensing up and I'm getting quite stiff, I just bust this out. All right, so I've run through the gynae history, which was decently more complicated than I thought. To be honest, I'm gonna take a look at explaining and interpreting MRI and CT scans. Alright, so just finished reviewing right on time as well. It's about to hit 1 p.m. I'm gonna go make a quick lunch and then review the gynecological history one more time before the patient encounter. I'm not really nervous for these patient encounters. I find that whether they go well or not, they're very useful learning experiences for me anyway. And because you get individualized feedback, which is fairly rare, I think they're very, very valuable. Now, as nice as it would be to do this patient encounter in my hoodie in absolute comfort, it is still a real patient that we're gonna be talking to and we need to be as professional as possible. So I'm gonna quickly change into this shirt and get started. All right, that definitely looks a lot better. Still got my sweatpants on on the bottom, but nobody has to know that. I'm not going to be recording this patient encounter for very obvious reasons, so I'll catch up with you guys after that. Peace. All right, patient encounter done. I think that went very, very well. So now the next thing that I have, um, MRI and CT scans, is at 3.15. So I've got about 20 minutes to kill until I have that next session. So Nora and I have gone out for a cheeky walk in the neighborhood. All right. Second thing done, all of my commitments, clinical commitments are finished for today. I think I'm gonna take a mini TikTok break on my phone. I never ever go on TikTok without setting a timer first. If I don't set a timer, I will stay on TikTok for like 20 or 30 minutes which is kind of ridiculous. So I always set a timer before I go on TikTok. The last thing that I actually need to do today is shave. And that's because the masks that we wear when we're doing aerosol generating procedures in the hospital are these guys. Now, besides the function of this mask in looking pretty cool, like it's from some futuristic apocalypse type situation, it's also meant to protect us when we're on the ward. You can check if you've got a good seal of this mask by covering up the front vent here and sucking in, so does not work nearly as well or doesn't work properly if you have even the tiniest bit of stubble on your face, of which I have quite a lot right now, which unfortunately means I need to clean shave, which I don't want to do because A, I look like a baby, and then B, all of my acne comes back on my face, which kind of really sucks from an aesthetics perspective, but from a protection perspective, obviously it needs to be done. All right, time to throw on an audiobook and get started. I'm currently reading Blood and Oil, which is about Mohammed bin Salman, the current Saudi prince. Extremely interesting read. Fascinating stuff, would highly recommend. Anyways, time to take off the cap and go to zero and get started. I genuinely can't believe how smooth and soft my face is. I haven't felt it like this in so many years. Right, laundry is finally done. Let me turn on this light as well. I'm gonna fold this laundry and talk to you guys about the placement for tomorrow. Tomorrow, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be in recess again, even though I really, really enjoyed my time there. You only get one day of recess placement in your EMCC block. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be in the urgent care center. So the urgent care center is for people who require urgent attention. They need to be seen urgently but they don't have a life-threatening problem or a life-threatening illness. If it was more severe, they would be seen in the emergency department minors. If it was more severe than that, they'd be seen in the emergency department majors. And if it was more severe than that, they would go to recess where I was on Monday. So I'm thinking the types of patients that I'm gonna be seeing tomorrow are patients with like maybe fractures or swollen sprained ankles. It's all gonna be very useful experience anyway. It's just gonna be different. So yeah guys, I think that's pretty much it for me for today. See ya. Hey guys, so just finished that amazing dinner. Honestly, having fried food just makes my brain very happy. I make sure it's in my diet every couple of weeks just so I can stay sane. This will be the last thing that I do today. I have an early start at 8 a.m. tomorrow, so I should probably be in bed by about 11. So yeah, just gonna play for a little bit, chill, go to bed, and I'll see you tomorrow.
All right guys, good morning. We made it to Friday, final day of the week. I spoke to some students who were in urgent care earlier this week and they said that it was all right. It wasn't as action packed as they would have liked. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Hopefully it's uh, better today. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. That's my last day of clinical placement this week. The urgent care center was pretty interesting, definitely a lot slower than recess that I did on Monday. I can't even count how many ankle sprains, ankle fractures that we saw, that was the majority of the cases. I did see an osteomyelitis case, which was actually pretty interesting. But overall, because you're just waiting for patients to come in, and in between the patients coming in, there isn't really anything to do. I found it quite slow and staggered in the learning and also in sort of the amount of interest throughout the day. It was just like peaks, troughs, peaks, troughs. So yeah, still a good day. I always enjoy the clinical aspect, the hands-on aspect of medicine. Whenever I come into the hospital, there's almost always something interesting to do, and it's usually a good time. I learn something new. And all right, guys, I think I'm gonna call it here for this vlog. I have filmed an absolute ton of footage this week. I think it's over 500 gigabytes which is by far the largest and most ambitious project I have ever attempted to edit. If you've watched this far and you've enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like on it and also subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my new podcast channel. I'll leave links to that in the description down below and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.